Preparations are underway in southern Tasmania for a scientific adventure on the high seas, but it's not your average expedition. The research vessel is an 80-year-old Scandinavian tall ship that was salvaged from the bottom of a Danish harbour 16 years ago, Anna Fromberg reports. Being a professional shipwright, I should know better actually than to fall in love with rotten boats, but uh, you can't help yourself. I mean, you see a good looking one and you're gone. When David Nash first laid eyes on the Yukon, she was sunk in a harbour south of Copenhagen. All I could see was actually her wheelhouse sticking out the water and the top of her mast. Built in 1930, the wooden fishing catch was weary from decades trawling the Baltic Sea. David Nash saw something he couldn't resist. I was captured by the lines of it. I knew there was a beautiful boat in there somewhere. The owners hadn't, uh, didn't have funds to re-salvage, so I said, look, if, if I salvage the vessel, and uh, we tow it to a slipway, make an inspection, I say I take it, then I'll give you a case of beer. 16 years and a case of beer later, the Yukon is enjoying life on the Huon River. After spending almost a decade restoring the tall ship, Mr Nash and his family sailed from Denmark to Tasmania four years ago. My wife and I, we decided that it was time to look for greener pastures, so coming originally from Adelaide, I said, well, let's sail the boat, uh, let's do a circumnavigation with our two children uh, who are now teenage, one's a teenager, but they were little kids and I thought if we don't do it soon, they're not gonna let us do it. The Nashes have settled at Franklin, the perfect home for the 83 year old Yukon. But the old girl isn't ready for retirement just yet. She's about to embark on another adventure. It's called the East Coast Odyssey, an expedition up the east coast of Australia to gather data on microplastics in the ocean. It's the brainchild of zoologist Dr Jennifer Lavers. Very exciting. Uh, so everyone will be living aboard this beautiful ship. We'll be travelling from Tasmania, from Hobart, all the way up to Brisbane. And we'll be deploying what's called a, a manta net. It's a specialised net that goes off the back of the boat. And as you go along, you tow it for a certain distance at a certain speed and it will sample the very top 10 centimetres or so of the ocean. Dr Labors has been studying microplastics for six years but is hampered by a lack of data from the east coast of Australia. She says it's estimated between three to four million pieces of plastic enter the world's oceans every day. A microplastic could originate from a bottle cap or a shampoo bottle and it just breaks down over time through wind and wave action and UV from the sun and becomes quite brittle. And now we've got an ocean filled with bite-sized morsels of plastic which um, are really causing a number of problems. Dr Lavers says seabirds, dolphins, whales and shellfish mistake plastic for food. Once ingested it can cause blockages, perforations and ultimately death. We find some birds with some pretty incredible numbers. So the record for Lord Howe Island is 276 pieces of plastic just like this in one 80 day old chick. The East Coast Odyssey is not just about gathering data, but raising awareness of the problem. To do that, members of the public are invited on the trip to help conduct the research. People can join the ship for just one leg or stay for the whole five months. It's certainly got a bit of a novelty factor to it because, I mean, you look at you know your usual sort of oceanic survey vessels, they've got the huge helicopter pad on the foredeck and it's full of people in bright coloured overalls and it's sort of a little impersonal, whereas this is a real hands-on experience. For the Nashes, it will be a family affair. 13-year-old Christopher and 10-year-old Aaron are excited about making a difference. Yeah, I really like to see that we're actually helping doing something about it. It's an impassioned thing. That's, it's really nice to be a part of something which has uh, got a higher meaning, which is this, this huge problem with uh, ocean pollution.